Hi, this is Ushio. Welcome back to Last Stop, the game where a lot of people are in strange situations and make poor decisions throughout. So we're going to check out John's story a little bit more. It's a fool's errand. But these guys, yeah, they they lost their jobs. It's, it's not working out for them. I don't know what they're going to do next. So yeah, they're all unemployed and I guess money's going to be an issue. Why don't you just go to the doctor? Well, Molly's got a point, John. I mean, we can't be the first case of something like this. Uh, really? Are you sure about that? You're not putting mustard on that, are you? You've got Jack's allergies now, Dad. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. No banana, no, no, no celery, no mustard. Molly, do your own work. Sorry, mate. Which one comes after Anne Boleyn? Uh, it's not Anne. I think it's Jane Seymour. Jane Seymour. Catherine Hepburn. It can't hurt to go to the GP about this. Jane Seymour! Yes! Dad wins! There we go. Okay. If we swap bodies, it, it's probably a mind thing. We should see someone mental. Like Maybe a go to a, brain surgeon. a priest. <laughs> Maybe. Or a therapist. Like that shop near the tube station. Or, no, not a psychic. No, that's psychic love, not, not psychology. They're different. Hang on, though. Molly might be onto something there. Yeah, I might be onto something. Don't, don't listen to the eight-year-old. Desperate times no. demand desperate measures. We shouldn't be closed off to any potential situation. Okay. Okay, fine. But if this flat ends up being decorated with healing crystals and scented candles, I'm going to be pretty miffed. Was beheaded f for fornication. Wow. What's fornication? Fornication? <laughs> okay. You know how we talked about sex, don't you, Molly? No. No. <laughs> well, I, I need to see a man about a dog, I think. Okay, so. I, I don't even know how this situation's going to go. I don't even know tonight, why people. these people With any are in this situation. With any our own bodies by dinner time. Bye, Dad. See ya. See you later, Jack. So, I've got a list. Uh, we've got an appointment with your GP, Dr. Ajibola, and then we're seeing that therapist I found online. Aren't you forgetting something? Yeah. Yeah, we are going to have our auras read, too. I hadn't forgotten. Let's get our auras read. But we just kind of bumped into some random guy in the you underground know, there is station. One good thing that you got going for you. That's the only reason it happened. Okay, are you mugging me off, mate? Just one. I love the way you say bastard. It's got a nice tombra. Bastard. <laughs> <What's>... <laughs> Great. Go on, let, let's see you say it for comparison. What well, bastard, yeah. Are we really doing this? Okay, fine. Bastard. Bastard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's a bit thin. Sorry. Bastard versus bastard. <laughs> There's a difference. Okay, so this is our, our doctor, right? John, good to see you. And who is this we have with us? Oh, hello, Doctor. This is my cousin, Jack. Pleased to meet you, Jack. So, how can I help you both? How's your heart, John? My heart? There's nothing wrong with my heart, is there? I mean, uh, that's not it right now. No, 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 it's, it's not that. It's a bit of a delicate matter. Don't worry. There isn't much you could say which could shock me at this point. Uh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. I'll try you. Okay, just go for it. Well, what do you know about... Living outside of your own body. You mean like a feeling of disassociation? Not being in control? S yes, sort of. exactly. Sort of. Um. Okay, the truth is... The truth is... I'm him. And he's me. Our bodies got switched somehow. I'm John. This isn't gonna work. And I'm Jack. This is not gonna work. Fellas, you realise April Fool's Day was months ago. Oh, damn. So there's nothing you can do for us? John, come back in two months, as we agreed for your regular checkup. I just realised. Jack, it was <laughs> nice to meet you. That doctor well, is the guy that means like cheating with. Find a new GP. Okay, about that bridge. What's next on the list? Ah, a psychologist. Should be interesting. Okay, so this is not working out. I'll go down here. But yeah, the, the doctor was the adulterer with Mina, who just got dumped. So... 
That's not going to work out. when he brought up that thing about your heart? Have you been ill? Uh... Well... I had a mild heart attack a few months back. I mean, it sounds worse than it is. Just spent a couple of days in hospital and... Now I just have to watch my cholesterol. Pretty normal, really. It's, it's nothing that serious. I see that Jesus, fry up, though. It's about as serious as it gets. Damn. Um... Maybe. Anyway, it's not an issue anymore. Right, well, look, no more junk food from now on. I'll cook tonight. Now, you haven't seen me in the kitchen, have you? I mean, you know, I don't want to brag, but I'm like a culinary wizard. I can't take all the credit. It's the French jeans. It's the French jeans make you a... Okay, thanks, Jacques. Thanks, Jacques. There we go. Looking forward to it. Okay, so what? Big old combo number eight. Right. £50 pound a month for a... Oh, yeah. Wow, £50 pound a month for a contract is not cheap. So are we going to Abbey Road? Okay, we're gonna go this way now. Where are we? A uh, psychiatrist. All right. Hello. This won't work You're either. Both related, is that right? Uh. Yeah, we're cousins. Sure. Okay. Well, nice to meet you both. Before we get started, I'd like to go through the different options we have available today. Okay. Okay. Sure. So my family therapy package starts at two hundred and fifty pounds per hour. We are unemployed. Okay, we went straight back out. Straight Every out. Daylight like robbery. <laughs> That was expensive. Well, on the bright side, you know where we're going next, don't you? Oh, wow. Right in the high street. Hooked on a healing. Okay. Well, we said we'd try. Alright, lads. All right, lads. With anything? Actually, yeah. Okay, he's all yours. My friend here is going to explain it to you. Isn't that right, Jack? Alright, listen. Uh, <laughs> sorry, what's your name? Ron. Right, listen, Ron, we have got a little bit of an odd one here, but by the looks of this place, maybe it's right up your street. I'm listening. Okay, so the long and the short of it, well, <laughs> we've swapped bodies. Me and him. My next door neighbour. Of course you have. Uh, doesn't get any more normal when I hear it said out loud. Ever heard of anything like this before? Body swapping? Okay, he thinks we're mental. That's perfect! What? What? what we I've read do? so much about this. Really? You've seen this before? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. You having us on? You having me on, come mate? On. Come to my office. No. Let's see if we can sort this out. This is so well, bogus. All right. This is so. You know, it's going to be bullshit. It's yeah, such sit bollocks. Yourself, all right. Down, lads. I'll be with you in a moment. Okay. Mm hmm. This this is not gonna this is not gonna work out. What's he on? Uh, Discord or something. So, uh. This where the magic happens? Uh huh. Must be more common than we thought. Oh, yeah. The world's definitely not what you think, lads, let me tell you. Oh, no. So, what happens next then? How's this all work? Like, you must have heard about the secret alien portals that are buried under London. Sure. Uh. No. Look, is there some sort of medicine we can take or. Oh, mate, you should look it up. Seriously. Everyone knows about it. It's not even a conspiracy at this stage. Okay. Ron? Hi. We were just wondering what we do next. Do we just sit here? One second, lads. I'm almost ready. Okay, so what what is going on? Okay. He's not going to make us do a podcast, For is he? Sake. All right, oh, Jack, and welcome no. back to another episode of the <laughs> Curtis, brought to you by Harvey's Razors, the closest killer shave a man can get. No, please don't. Now, no, don't make me do this. Get into today's smash topic, that like button. Remember to share this video with your mm. friends and smash that like button. No, I hate it. I hate it. I hate okay. it. So today we have two special guests who are here to talk about their tragic tale of how they swapped brains. Jack, John, why don't you introduce yourselves? Okay, they're gone. Yeah. Well, that's everyone we have booked in. Yeah, that's bullshit. We're going to have to think really hard what our next approach is, Jack. I'm kind of running out of ideas. I've got one. Okay, let's hear it. Alright, go on. Pub. Alright, fair. That's expensive, though. If you're unemployed and got no money, pub is not the cheapest way to go. Okay. Uh, I totally bought into that last guy. I thought that was it. You know? I'm such a mob. Uh, he got me too. 
got to admit, you had me for a moment. Seems like we have to up our game next time, Jack. Yeah. No, I can't actually remember the last time I went to the pub. Piss off. Don't believe you. You're like the kind of guy who was born in a pub. Rude. You grew up playing the fruit machines, blindfolded, whilst eating pork scratchings, downing more mail. Wow. Rude. Yeah, well, let me guess. You grew up in, uh, in cocktail bars, didn't you? Probably scoffing sushi. You can do all that stuff when you're younger. When you're a single dad like me, it gets a little bit more difficult. Sushi's not that unhealthy. Fair enough. Question. What's the question? What you got? Of course. I mean, not that this is any of my business or anything, but... Where's Molly's mum? You never mentioned her. Okay. Yeah, well, she's... Uh... I don't really like talking about it, to be honest. Sorry. Of course. I guess we'll find out eventually. Hey, look. I've got a piano here. You play. Mate. Do I play? I don't know, do you? That was the question. Let's see. Let's see. Are we doing a, a combo? Okay. Oh I'll god. Continue playing this. You just join in when you want. Oh god. What is it? Wait, what? No. Just making it up as I go along. Come on, you play the top line, man. Just, just make something up. Yeah, well, I hope huh? we're pissing everyone off in here. No, no, that's why it's here. Come on. Come on, you got an audience now. Just, just play something. Okay, I, I'm going to okay, play. I'm a little bit rusty. Go. Gonna have a bonding moment here. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, fine. Keep it going. We're becoming friends somehow through the the art of piano. Okay. It's it's pretty pretty simple so far, and I can handle it. It's all good. Oh, here come that left trigger though. Oh, hit the bass. Who hit the bass? Okay, we're doing okay. I cannot play the piano. I've always wanted to, I've always fancied the idea of it, but I don't think I've got the the dexterity for it. It's a bit of a shame. But these guys, coincidentally, both have piano skills. And we're just gonna play through this number real quick and enjoy each other's company with whatever expressions they have on their faces. It must be said, a lot of the details are quite on point. Like, Oh, that was the wrong button. Whoops. We're doing okay now. It's like looking at the tills. It's one of those touchscreen tills that we get over here. And the whole no Wi-Fi try talking to each other sign. That's, that is something you do see in certain kinds of pubs and bars and stuff. Okay, it looks like we made it through. I think I made one mistake. Okay. That was awesome. You're great at the piano, mate. Yeah, high five. Absolute legend. Wow, legend. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at home. Looks like this one's for you. Cheers. Oh, crap. Come over to my place a moment, yeah? Okay. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. We should just... Uh... Just check and see if any of your posters got delivered by mistake. What was that letter? Okay, we need to have a look. What? What's the news? What's the word? What's this? A bank statement. I'm cleaned out. It's got no money. There goes the flat. Um, maybe living a little bit above your means. I, I don't even know. How am I going to pay for this place without any cash? Without a job? Uh, how much is the rent? Oh, I don't even want to know. Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe there's something we can do. How much is rent on this place anyway? Go on, how much? Two thousand a month. Yep. Crowdsource it, I suppose. You ain't crowdsourcing Jesus. that. <laughs> for this one bed place. Well, I guess there's only one thing for it. How long are these boxes gonna be here? Forever. Until I can afford to put them in storage. That's alright, innit? Can I look for your stuff? No. 
Okay, we need money. The long and short of it is that one of us needs to get a job. These bills aren't going to sort themselves out. Yeah, no offence, but I'm never going to get another games job if I have to use your CV. 25 years working in the same office. Who'd hire me? Why don't you get your old job back, Dad? Yeah. Shazzy was saying they haven't found anyone to cover your casework. That's... It's sort of not a bad idea, because he can do it and they wouldn't suspect it's him. Apply for my old job as Jack. Yeah, do it. I'll let you write the cover letter. Give it a bit of panache. You're going to have to sort your look out, Dad. No one's going to hire you if you dress like that. Not, not to an well, interview, right. you know. Got to get you spruced up and all dapper. 90% of acing an interview is all about wearing a sharp suit. Shit. Well, not, not that one. Not that suit. Not that shirt. Oh... It's all right. Uh, no. You've killed that shirt. That is dead. Okay. So th those guys, yeah, they got to find a new job. They, they don't know how to fix this situation, but they got to work it out. But we did meet the doctor, who is Mina's cheating buddy. Let's see what she's up to now. Okay. Previously on last stop. Skip it. Well, you know what happened. But... We're seeing more and more of these characters. I just want to slap this Amy in the face because she's keeping us trouble. Miss Hughes, we've been over the data gathered from our previous examination and we've called you back in as we want a little more clarity on a certain issue. It's important that you answer honestly as we need to calibrate our expectations. On okay, we're not paying attention. We are being maybe blackmailed or threatened regarding our infidelity. Because, yeah, we are, we are cheating. We're a cheater. Okay. I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown-up girl. We suspect That's it's the door. By the way. Hmm. No. No. Please. What? Miss Hughes. Why would you uh, do that? <laughs> sorry. Well, does it? Does it what now? Sorry. Can you repeat the question, please? That won't look well. That's okay. No. I think we have what we need. Oh, dang. I can answer another one. Have a good day. All right, bye. Oh, it's all falling apart. And we know Amy got the job. We know she did. Hughes, join us. All right, what's up? Nina, you've just had your second exam. How'd it go? Shit. Everything okay here? I was just telling Amy how impressed I was with her results. Seriously stellar work. Thank you, sir. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'll be looking forward to reviewing yours, too. I wouldn't bother. I really wouldn't bother. That's me. I gotta run. All right, bye, Hale. Amy. Yes. Whatever. Best of luck, Mina. I can't believe I'm up against a legend like you. Shut up, Amy. <laughs> now cut the crap. If you want this, then don't try and be my friend. We're enemies in this. Act like one. Okay. I'm playing this like I've got nothing to lose. So back off. Mina is too hardcore for this. She's gonna... She's gonna just break. <laughs> she's way too uptight. Is she really gonna try and kill this girl? That's, that's the... That's not a thing to do. So if you're like a spy, you would think that you'd be quite good at keeping secrets and keeping your cool. But she can't handle herself. Like, her dad's on drugs, but that's, you know, he's an adult, he's his own business, I suppose. Not that I particularly approve of it. But she really handled it poorly. And also, she can't handle her own family life either. And she's off cheating with people as well. Which is heavily, both instances are heavily exploitable things. If you're like got some kind of secret shit going on, so mm hmm. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna roll up to Felix's place with a gun. This this is probably a. This is absolutely a bad idea. Hey, it's the doctor. Oh, hi. I thought we weren't doing this anymore. We're not. I need to talk to you. The other day, I got left a note on my front doorstep. A threatening note. Someone knows about us and is trying to use it against me. Someone's blackmailing you. So that's why you ended this. Uh, Was it Wendy? I told you not to tell Wendy about us. 
Are you kidding me? My daughter isn't a blackmailer. Okay, who else could it be then? Well, who else could it be? Who else would know? I just need to talk to her. <sighs> well, there's no way I'm letting you accuse her of something like that. I, I think you should leave. Okay. Just tell me where I can find her. We'll have a friendly chat and that'll be the end of it. <sighs> can you hear yourself? I'm done with this. Stay away from my daughter, okay? No, that didn't work out. Ugh. But then we are thinking about trying to shoot her, so maybe it's for the best. Unless we just hang around outside the house. Okay. Is that us at the end of the street? Okay. I, I, I don't know. We're not getting a black cab no more. We're taking the walk home. So, we hate our husband. We don't like our daughter. When we threatened, we were threatened by the drug dealer. It could be the drug dealer. Okay, here's our salty husband. He's got right to be. It's fair. Yo, what's up? Having a drinky? You said you are going to be home at seven. Not even a text. This isn't good, Mina. Uh... Phone died? Um... Sorry. Hey, okay, I'm sorry. I don't know how many times I can keep putting up with the same excuses. It's, it's, it's boring. Okay. Well, it's the truth. It's like you don't care. <laughs> what can I say for you to drop it? I'm not in the mood, Dan. You're never in the mood, are you? You're always somewhere else, even when you are here. It's like I'm married to a bloody answer machine. Okay, we're having a bit of a domestic now. Um, are you done? Are you finished? Yes. Your dinner's in the oven. It'll be cold by now. It's a bad oven, then. All right, delicious. Yum. Oh, fine. Well, I won't bother cooking for you next time in that case. Oh, Sounds no. good to me. Oh, you can piss off. Wanker! What the hell is wrong with you? Didn't rise to it. Honestly, Mina, a lot of this is your own fault. You got a... You made your bed. <laughs> you got a lie in it. Not good at all. Not good at all. Let's keep pushing on. I want to see what happens. It's Cobbett Square. Here we go. Chapter 4. Change of heart. Alright, wakey wakey. It's a bit dusty in the room. I want to see to that. Dude, not cool. Not cool. That's some creepy shit. Oh, phone, hello. Who dis? Hadn't heard from Becky for a while. Maybe that's a, a problem. Oh, it's Becky. Get with a birthday present. Sorry, I forgot to reply to this. A bit late now. Um, are you in the smoking shelter? I can't get hold of Viv. Yeah, we're here. Hey, get up. I'm waiting outside your flat. Oh, okay. I just gotta get dressed. Real quick. What are we wearing today? Well, we wore the anarchy thing last time. Let's wear the let's wear the summery stuff. That's it. Hopefully, it's not too cold out today. Yo, yo, yo! How's it going? I'm I'm kind of into the boy that you like. Hey, haven't seen you in a while. Could we talk? I wanted to catch you and Viv while we're all together. Okay. About what? Let's just wait till we get there. Hmm. Secrets. Oh yeah, how was Moise's party? It was okay. Got a bit druggy in the end. Alright, pass on that. Okay, uh, see what she says. You go alone. You hear about Moise and Tina going at it on his dad's car. Mental. <laughs> Everyone's getting some action at the moment. What's that mean? Oh, should I say? I'm a saying. <laughs> Why don't you ask Viv? You're joking. You and Viv? Whatever. That's bullshit. Hey, you sorry, Becky. The player. Sorry, Becky. I got there first. <laughs> oh, look at you two. Oh, there's back Wendy. The it's the daughter. Have you dropped out or something? Watch yeah, your back. Mina's you after doing? you. But you think you're both so cool. Okay. No, not really. Could never be as cool as you two, right, Becky? Shut up, Donna. It's complicated. 
Yeah, looks it. Come on, Mary. Let's leave these wasters to it. Oh, you, you just call me waste. Leave it. <laughs> I've just about enough of all of this. Uh, we all have, not just you. Oh, shut up. Let's just get some food and go. All right, we're off to the cough, father. Yo, where Viv at? Mate. Viv, do not. That's the spooky dude. Spooky dude. Spooky dude's taken Viv. Into the house. No, excuse me. I'm knocking on this door. Oi, Viv! What the hell are you doing? That's not good at all. Spooky dude taking Viv. Ah! No! <laughs> That's no 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 no. What's what's he doing with that man? What's he doing with him? Hmm. Uh, what are you doing? Tell her. Say the thing. Why would you not tell her? Put it that way. I. You. You saw that, right? That's are it. Are you all right? No, I'm not good. I'm not good. I can't think. Right. Well, if you want to stay and bang on this door... I do. I could have sworn there was... We're going or what? Oh, yeah. Just gonna let that slide. It wasn't a trick of the eye. You saw that shit. Oh, man. What has happened, though? Maybe we'll never see that guy again. But we don't know the nature of this guy. Oh, oh, shit. You just got erased from, like, existence. Any other doors you want to knock on on the way? You really didn't see the stranger go into his house. You're actually weirder than I thought. Weren't you going to get some chips or something? Maybe stick your head in the deep fat fryer while you're at it. Funny. That rude. It was closed anyway. <laughs> you know what I think? I think you've got a thing for that stranger. Nope. What? Oh, shut up. I've seen that little twinkly you get in your eye when you look at him. I bet you wanted to get into his house, look through his dirty laundry, sniff his pants. Oh, you're Becky. sick, you know that. This Becky coming from you, out. the weirdest girl in school. Rude. Don't be an asshole your entire life. Ooh, you're hard. Oh, you know, well for someone mate. who's got a potential assault charge hanging over their head, you're awfully irritating. I'm irritating. You should listen to some of the shit that comes out of your mouth. I literally don't know why I bother hanging out with you. You're just upset because you weren't invited to Moise's house party. Does it look like I care? It, it's, yeah, that's, that's a fairly accurate representation of how some of these arguments can go. Do I look bothered to you? But what is going on with Viv being taken like that? Oh my god, I can't believe it. He's right where we left him. Nah, allow this. This is... Nah. Who no. Who be guarding him? You were... Wait. Wait, was I? You Have I forgotten about him? It. Hang well, on. If I was supposed to be guarding him, why didn't you say something earlier? This is stupid and a complete waste of time. We're guarding a moron who can't even speak and we're worried that he can dob us into the police. I'm out of here. Wait, he can speak. Go on, say something. You ain't gonna say shit. Mm -hmm. This is embarrassing. You can look after your imaginary friend on your own from now on. Wait, what? I'm bored. And I'm done. Later. Great. Well, piss off then. Cheers, Becky. Thanks so much. Why didn't you say anything? Oh, so you're not talking to me anymore either? Would you mind doing me a favour? There's something down in the basement of this building that I would like you to take a look at. He speaks. Now he Door says something. Open, if you wouldn't mind. I totally mind. Okay, I, I have got... Alright, mm, but don't get used to ordering me around like this. I've got a big suspicion that when Viv got taken away and his name disappeared from the, the sign, does that mean that everybody else forget him as well? 
because that, that's not good. You just get erased from existence like that in its entirety. There's not even a crime. You've not even been taken away. This looks bogus as shit. I would not. I would not do this. Um. Jesus, it's pitch black in here. You're lucky I've got a torch on my phone. No, this is this is very very bad times. <laughs> So what are we going to find? So there was this guy talking about conspiracies in the, the other chapter. But it looks like there's truth to it within the realms of this game. There is some kind of weird underground network shit going on. No. Oh no. Glowy eye dude. Watch your back. Watch your back. Hmm. No. Sneaky. Huh? The photo? He didn't like seeing himself. Interesting. He doesn't understand it either. He's What's learning about it too. Nothing down there but some rats. He tried it. He tried it. My mistake. Donna, let me ask you a question. Do you still have that photograph you took of me? So that counts as negating his power? The fact that he has evidence, that she has evidence of him. What's that got to do with anything? I haven't got time for this. Why? You know why. Mum's ill. I need to be spending time with her and helping Emma out around the house more. You need to be here. Okay. Oh, whatever. I'm going to untie you. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Why? Why? You're going to bash my head in? <laughs> whatever. Stay here if you want. Donna, don't pretend you don't want to be here. I know you. You don't know shit. Get out of here. That suddenly makes a lot more sense, because when... Our sister's girlfriend got taken. No one mentioned her Hello? again. And she suddenly had a new girlfriend. Mom? So yeah, Anyone if you about? get taken, you, you are gone. You are disappeared forever. Uh, phone's ringing? H hello? Over here. This doesn't bode well. Don Adelaide here. Yes. Sorry, who's this? Miss Adelaide here. It's Longmead Hospital. We need you to come in. Alright, on my way. It's your mum. I'm afraid it's serious. How soon can you get here? Oh. Came on quick. Mom. Right, this, this got to take that bus out. Okay, that is the end of chapter four. I think there are six chapters in the whole of this game, so we're making good progress, and we're going to check out more of the story in the next episode. This is Usho signing off, and hopefully I will see you next time.